My uh, first guest tonight is a very funny comedian who is appearing at Madison Square Garden on December 14th and 16th. Please welcome our old friend, Louis C.K. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. You get that all the time now. Thank you. Look at that. That's very nice. That's very nice. Thank you. You've got one of those names that sounds like they're booing, booing you. Yeah. Like you That's and Springsteen. Right. It's a horrible thing. That's right. This is great. It's White Knight at the Apollo. <laughs> <laughs> sea of white faces. Not everybody, I'm sure. No. It appears that Not way. Not everybody. Yeah. There are some people here who have been out in the sun for a little bit. So. <laughs> I enjoyed the Alvin Ailey, the dancing. That oh, you, really... you, you like the dancing thing? Yeah, dancing is really inspiring to watch when somebody, you know, it's a terrible uh, life choice. It's the dumbest, <laughs> it's the worst career choice. You're saying dancing is a terrible career choice. It's you like worst, watching it, but you think it's a terrible it's career the choice. worst available career choice. <laughs> What are, what are you it's talking huge, about? A massive amount of dedication followed by giving up. That's what FDA all have to do. <laughs> because what nobody, are you talking there's about? like three dance jobs on the planet Earth. <laughs> and there's no second tier. Like any other, even a musician, even being a musician and not there, what are you doing? Don't be a musician. That's a stupid thing to do for a living. <laughs> but, but if it doesn't work out the way you want it, you can look at these, you've got these guys here. <laughs> No, just to be clear, what Louis, I'm saying... you know what, these guys. What I'm saying is that nobody cares who they are as individuals. <laughs> but they're... No, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish. Let me finish. In fairness, you gotta let okay, him finish. They're working musicians. None of, this is not their dream. None of them. <laughs> None of them. They each wanted to be separate rock stars. <laughs> but they're just, they're just a clump of nothing <laughs> that makes... A noise. <laughs> it makes a clump of nothing. And they're makes... supporting their families. This is they—they they are supporting their families and they're paying their rent mm -hmm. by just being no, nobody that anyone cares, <laughs> making a noise that a computer can make. No, no, really no that's not true. It is. It's not. What I'm saying is that a musician—that's a viable look at this. You guys are great examples. Yeah. That's a good idea. Good idea. You're saying dancing is not that's like right. that. That's right. If you—if you're a dancer. And you're the greatest dancer ever. Nobody gives a shit, first of all. I mean, because everybody dances. And then how many millionaire dancers are there? I don't you know. You can dance for like two seconds at your peak. You got to give up. You know, I mean, stripping, you can strip, but, but, then, but you, can, you don't need to go to Alvin Ailey to learn to do that. Yeah. That's a good career choice, Right. being a stripper. So, uh, I mean, as far as financially. Financially, yes. I'm not you saying, can... look, and that's why they're wonderful people, because they're doing something very stupid that we can watch. Uh, I mean, stupid for their lives, wonderful for ours. Now, listen, Louie, are you saying... <laughs> are you saying, first of all, Louie, yeah. let's get clear here. Yeah. Are you personally yourself yeah. someone who enjoys dancing? Are you a I good do. dancer? I do. I mean, I don't dance. Okay, like, I was watching... Um, there was, you know, late night commercials. I watch those, I can't sleep anymore. So I'm watching late night commercials, and there's this one about, uh, it's a guy selling DVDs. If you, still people buying DVDs on, on, on television. Right. And he's, it's, he says, I can teach you how to dance, like NSYNC and Boys to Men, all those bands. Yeah. I can teach you to dance just like them, because I taught them. I'm the one who taught them. First of all, I was very disappointed, <laughs> because I thought NSYNC and those guys, that they just did that. <laughs> I thought they just, that's why they're called in sync because they have this amazing <laughs> that the music oh, starts and they just they, they just, just make had all the same exact choices every time they dance. That's what I thought. That was your uh, yeah your dream yeah about them yeah. And now I find out it's just this guy taught him how to do it. But then I'm watching the commercial. I'm like, this is stupid. You know, when you watch those things, this is stupid. But sh he's showing how he took ordinary people and they're all doing the bye 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 they're doing yeah, the yeah, moves. Yeah. Right. And he said you can have all these moves. If you watch the DVDs, and I started going, I kind of want to get this DVD. <laughs> I kind of want to get it and bring it home and do like 30 minutes a night. And then I would just have all those 
moves. Right. And I would never do them. I would never dance those moves. Wait, you'd learn them, but then never do them? them? I have them. <laughs> They're mine. They're mine. Uh -huh. No one can make me feel like I'm nothing. Yeah. <laughs> So it's secret, it's your quiet yeah, I walk secret. walk around, some guy's looking at me like, piece of shit, look at that fat piece of shit. And I'm like, you don't know what I could do right now. <laughs> like, let's take a, like let's... a ninja that never draws his sword. <laughs> yeah. That's right, Andy. Exactly. Uh, you know, let's take a quick break. Much, much more with Louis C.K. when we come back. Stick around. talking a lot. Uh, last night was our first show. This is our second. Just about how being back in New York reminds me how New Yorkers do not hide their emotions. And you're here a lot, obviously, and, yeah. and, and I find that to be quite refreshing. A little scary sometimes, but it's very nice. refreshing. It's nice. Because when people are all acting nice, you got to assume that they're lying. Right. <laughs> it's not human nature is to be a little bit all the time, you know. Yeah. So. But I like I was in a I was watch I was in a, I was shopping for groceries mm -hmm. and I looked over and there was a woman standing over there and as I looked over she looked away, in a way that I knew she'd been looking at me the whole time, <laughs> and she went like, Ugh. <laughs> like that, just looking at me like, Ugh. and then I'm walking in another aisle, same store, and some guy saw me and he looked me up and down and went ah, and he just, <laughs> and I was like, I know, but how do you know, you know? Like, how do you know? <laughs> What's getting through? <laughs> What's coming through? So anyway, then I was on the subway, mm -hmm. and I'm standing on the subway, and I have to stand up to show you. I'm yeah. standing on the subway like this. This is me on the subway, right. and there's a person here. You know, this is my corresponding. You, yours the stander, and there's your sitter, <laughs> looker at Dicker. They're just right there. I mean, that's what they have no choice. They're sitting like this, and you're standing over. <laughs> I mean, women are decent and they stand like sideways, but we just go like, hey, there you go. There you go. That's for you the whole time. But anyway, so the fellow who's sitting here, he's instead, usually they tune out your dick. Like they just kind of, but he's looking right at it. He's looking right here. So he's looking and he's kind of looking at it. Like what's up with that? Yeah. And then he looks up at me and he goes. <laughs> and that's not, that makes me uncomfortable. And then he goes, points right at my dick. And then I realize, I look down, my fly is open. Not, and not only, not only is it open, it's aggressively, it's like, it's not like a pants, like a slit, like a pants vagina. It's like a, like a grizzly bear's asshole. That would be, like, and, so as soon as, some, you know, and now my whole world turns upside down. I love this man. I love him very much right. because he told me. I'm walking around all day and people are judging me. <laughs> They're looking at me like, uh, like this is a choice. Like a person goes out, yeah, you know what? Today I'm just gonna, uh, yeah. Like you decide to do that. No, oh, that's not your, how do you have anything but pity for somebody right, when you're right. flying? Right, right. And as soon as somebody tells you your fly is down, your first thought is, how long? Yeah. How long have I been walking around with this confident face that doesn't match this? <laughs> anyway. Now, Louie, I'm not doing my job if I don't ask you about the election. It's yeah. just a week away. Uh, you want to talk about it? Uh, who are you supporting? Uh, I'm going to vote for Hillary because yeah. uh, I... And it's stupid to say because I'm a performer and so I'm splitting my audience in half, but right. uh, I think she's great. It's not a sec like a lesser of two evils. I think she's great. I really like her. I think she's really talented and I think she's super smart mm -hmm. and I think she's done this for, I, I would take her over anybody. There really isn't some, it's not because between the two of them. I would take her over any, anybody else that would do it. 
Um, and to me, it's really exciting to have the first uh, mother in the White House. That's what I think. This is not about the first woman. It's about the first mom. Now, what is it about, me, uh, about a mom? Because it's... a mother, she's got it. A mother just does it. She's got your, she, she, she feeds you and teaches you. She protects you. Yeah. She takes care of <laughs> A father, we've had 240 years of fathers. Yeah. yeah. Father after father, bald father, fat father, every kind of father. <laughs> And fathers are okay. I'm a father. Yeah. You're a dad. You're a dad. Yeah, yeah. We a, fa a great father can give a kid forty percent of his needs. Top. <laughs> top out of forty percent. Tops out at forty percent. Yes. Yes. Any mother. That, that's optimistic. That's yeah. optimistic. Yeah. Any mother. Uh, just a <laughs> mother. Like just a not even trying mother. Two hundred percent. Like she can't. <laughs> <laughs> Mothers do too much. Like, at, what's the last conversation you had with your mom was probably, Mom, all right. Yeah. It's enough. Like, yeah. they just, eh. <laughs> they just keep. So, to me, she's like, like it's, it's exciting to think about. I'm excited about this election because she, I don't want it to be the other guy just, look, if you vote, I'm not, I don't have no problem when anybody votes for Trump if that's your ideology. Uh, you know, although four more years of this, I don't know if we can do, because this is four more years of a guy who can't, be uh, criticized. What's more important than a, about a president than that you can <laughs> all over them? That's what presidents are for. Yeah. To <laughs> I <laughs> guy sucks. Like that's the point <laughs> of the president is to get drunk and blame them for everything, everything and yes. accuse them of. <laughs> this guy, every time he's criticized, everything stops and he makes everybody pay. Yeah. <laughs> that's not how it works. We need somebody who can take abuse. Yes. Hillary yeah. Clinton can take abuse. Yeah. She's taking it. And taking it. This is what's been going on. We've been hazing her. We've been it's holding been her down and spitting in her mouth and yelling at her. And she just gets up and goes, Well, I just think that if uh, children have proper health care and education, she just keeps working. Yeah. So I'm totally uh, for her. I now, Louis, you have. You want people. Yes. You oh, want. You really changed my mind. I was all in for Trump. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're here. Uh, but you know what? It's a, you are feel a specific need, or it's important to you that uh, people get out and vote. That's especially, there are some younger people out there, millennials, that say, "Oh, I don't know if this is yeah. there's a good choice for me here. I don't know if I'm going to vote or I'm undecided." What do you, what, what's exactly? Your... I don't have any any uh, quarrel with somebody who votes. Uh, for Trump, if that's what they feel that they want. Uh, it, it, but if you don't vote at all, because you just, I don't know about her. She's like, if you're like a liberal who's not going to vote, you're a piece of <laughs> Because, because, wait a minute, wait a minute. Because this is what they're like, I don't really like her voice. Grow the Are you kidding me? Grow up. I just don't send thing about we don't I don't want somebody who's likable or cool anymore. We right. need a just a we need a two-faced, conniving, <laughs> crazy <laughs> just somebody who's just got, got a million schemes. And by the way, all her <laughs> is out there. Yeah. Every email she ever wrote is in the newspapers and she's not in jail, which is amazing. <laughs> That's, but just we need just a tough bitch mother who nobody likes yeah. and who just does so this is my feeling overall. I think if you vote for Hillary, you're a grown-up. Yeah. If you vote for Trump, you're a sucker. Right. If you don't vote for anybody, you're an asshole. Right. That's what I think, overall. Hi, Sonny. Yeah. Put it together nicely. Thank you. Louis will be performing at Madison Square Garden December 14th and 16th as part of his nationwide stand-up tour. Tickets for all shows are available at LouisCK. Dot net. Louis, always brilliant. Thank you so much for Thank being you, here.